Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm Brady. Welcome to this week's podcast. Last weekend, there was a big TSA event. Let's go check it out and see how they did. I'm here with Trevor, who was recently at the TSA regional competition. So, Trevor, tell us how that went for you. All right, so based, I made states. My table that we're sitting on right now, I made. Uh, we took, I took fourth with it, and there was some pretty cool stuff there. And for Sim, we took third for Children's Story, we took the lead third, and took first in RC car. So what do you do to improve your chances of placing at stage? So a lot of TSA is time management, and we procrastinated a lot, and everything wasn't perfect, so that's basically what we're doing. All right, thank you, Trevor. Good. Hi, guys. I'm here with Mr. Rank, our TSA advisor. So, Mr. Rank, how's everyone doing this year? Um, we had a pretty good showing this last weekend. We had our regional competition. Uh, we have five students from the middle school moving on to states, and we actually have um, three students moving on to states in high school. That's pretty good. Would you say there's any outstanding performers this year? Um, I don't know if they'd say they're outstanding. We, we had good showing in a few areas. We need to improve upon a few things, and it's always room for improvement. So we'll improve and move on to stage and hopefully take some wins out there. I hope so too. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Now let's cut to an interview with the district band. So what are you most excited for with district band? Um, I would say I'm most excited to compete again and get our chairs. Um, and I would say playing with a big, huge band that is um, really advanced compared to what we are. The thing I'm most excited for is to meet new people and hopefully place in the top six for my clarinet and then hopefully to take the top spot for each black clarinet. Being a senior, I think I'm really excited for this because it's my first time going for districts and I'm excited to meet all the new people and all the different instruments that are there and meeting other flute players. Now, let's take a look at this week's Athlete of the Week. I'm here with Steven, this week's Athlete of the Week. So Steven, tell me how does it feel to be Athlete of the Week? It feels pretty good to be recognized in the school and everything. Uh, what do you think you did to earn this award? Um, the last couple of games we've been having a uh, decent showing, winning the last couple of ones, and I think our coach has been pushing us a lot, and I think that had a big uh, standout. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's the middle of February, so let's go see how all of our winter sports programs are doing right now. What's up, Raider Nation? Mr. Snyder back here with the uh, weekly sports update. Uh, it was an exciting week of Red Raider athletics. We start off with our boys basketball team who probably had the biggest win, um, I want to say, in almost a decade for boys basketball with an overtime thriller against Muncie last Friday, uh, or excuse me, Saturday, played a, a girls boys back to back doubleheader at Muncie. It was their senior night and uh, our teams went in there and Stole the show. First off, the girls started off, uh, played a real good game uh, against a uh, very solid Muncie team. Uh, came back, almost uh, almost stole one on the Indians' home court. Uh, ended up, they were down one with 30 seconds left and uh, ended up losing by four. But still a great performance. And, um, you know, the girls did a tremendous job, uh, which led us into the boys' game. And I um, want to give a, a, a big thanks to the girls because uh, after talking to Coach Parrish and, uh, you know, about the game, the first thing he mentioned were our fans and the girls' basketball team for uh, their support, their enthusiasm for the boys as they uh, stole one from the Indians. Uh, it was the first time in 10 years we had beat Muncie uh, on their home court. So just a tremendous job. Uh, we were down nine points with a minute 16 left and uh, we had some some things go our way but nonetheless you know you got to take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of you and Steven Prince knocked down four free throws in a row um, Gavin Moore made a, a very clutch rebound and uh, layup and got fouled with three seconds left in the game and um, proceeded to to hit the game tying foul shot with three seconds on the clock so uh, just a huge, huge performance in a pressure situation uh, by Gavin and Steven. Um, the game went into overtime, and we ended up winning 58-54. Um, it was pretty cool. The, the team stormed the court, 
and uh, it was just uh, an exciting atmosphere. Um, people were texting me all night long, sending me videos of the game. So it was it was really cool to see, and just want to say congratulations to the boys uh, for that big win, and they collected their sixth win of the season. So uh, if you take the last three years combined and double it, that's how many wins we got. So that's pretty cool. Congratulations to Coach Parrish, Coach Howe, Com Coach Umstead, and uh, the entire basketball team. Um, I mentioned the girls lost the heartbreaker to Muncie that same night. Uh, they came back on Monday and battled a, a Midwest team and uh, on senior night and were victorious. Uh, that picked up their 12th win of the season and solidified, once again, their playoff position. Uh, right now, the girls are sitting 7th seed in the district. Uh, so we have... One more game to play. Uh, we have South Williamsport, and then we move to the playoffs next week. So it's just kind of wait and see at this point, finish out the season. And uh, we do know that we will be traveling uh, most likely next Tuesday uh, to a different site. So congratulations to the girls, and uh, good luck in the postseason. Uh, the wrestling team really didn't perform since the last time that I spoke. Uh, they're just kind of gearing up for sectionals and uh, their postseason run. So just uh, good luck to Coach Mowry and the team as they'll compete at Hughesville uh, this weekend as the top four advance to the district tournament in Williamsport uh, the following Friday and Saturday. So good luck to the wrestling team. Uh, just a heads up, spring sports. Uh, we had our physicals a few weeks ago. Uh, remember, in order to participate, you got to have a PIAA physical turned into me. Um, we will be starting spring sports March 2nd. So that is all the varsity sports. It will be baseball, softball, and track and field. Uh, once again, March 2nd is the first official practice as uh, the preseason has begun. Uh, so make sure you guys are doing that. Uh, the junior highs teams, the boys and girls soccer teams, um, we're going to start practice March 23rd, so you guys have a few weeks after that uh, to, to make sure that you're getting everything into me. Once again, the physicals need to be turned in uh, prior to you attending any practices. So if you need a form or you have any questions, please stop down to see me. Uh, nonetheless, good luck and go Raiders. Before we close out this week's broadcast, I want to do something a little bit different for the rest of the week. So Brady, who's going to ask you guys a question? So I've been going around and asking some students how they feel about Valentine's Day. Some people don't like it, some people do. So we want to ask some of the fans how you guys truly feel about it. Put them in the comments below. And on that note, see you later.